Hello, fabulous superstar Pisces. Welcome to your horoscope for the month of June 2020. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. It is a powerful and phenomenal astrological time. I do believe that when we look back at 2020, with all that is happening celestially speaking, I do believe that June is going to stand out. There are such powerful energies at play here, and the least of which is an extended eclipse season. Normally, eclipse season is two weeks. We get two weeks during which the veil between the worlds is especially thin. And we're able to recognize our spiritual lessons playing out, but this time is different. We are going to have a total of three eclipses, two this month, one next month, which means one month of eclipse season. And it starts right around the 5th of June. You will have an eclipse taking place at the very top of your sky. This is a part of the sky having to do with career, social standing, life purpose. It has to do with your sense of alignment with a higher, more loving vision for your life and the legacy that you are creating. This particular lunar eclipse is the first of a series of eclipses that will be taking you forward right into 2021. And so it is the beginning of larger lessons that will start playing out now and ultimately will align you with greater success as you uniquely define it than you've known before. It begins with a closure. It begins with an understanding, not just of what you're meant to do, but also maybe what it is that you no longer want to do, what is no longer meaningful, what is no longer part of life purpose for you. And this can be powerful and empowering, but it can also be frustrating. And I'm so sorry to say that, but this lunar eclipse is part of a larger configuration that astrologers call a T-square. It is standing across the sky from Venus retrograde and speaking with Mars in your sign. Of all the signs out there, it is you that is likely to feel that much more passionate, that much more intense, that much more high energy at a time like this. And yet, that can also be part of the blessing now because it is ultimately a time that can empower you tremendously as well. If it is that you're willing to surrender to any discontent or any uncertainty that you feel, it is just beyond that that you'll start to recognize the opportunities. You'll start to recognize the possibilities now. You are being realigned, as I said, with a higher, more loving vision for your life. Where it is that the current pathway is part of that, well, this is about you refining your way forward. Where it is that it may not be, well, this is you realizing where or how it is that you're ready to change course. And whether it is a prompt from within you or whether it is more externally life telling this to you, this ultimately will put you on a road towards greater happiness, greater alignment, greater success than you've known before. As we navigate further into the month on the summer solstice, the 21st of June, we are going to have a solar eclipse. Now this solar eclipse is the last of a series of eclipses that have been taking place in this part of the sky for the better part of the last two years. This is fellow water sign Cancer, and it is a part of the sky that has to do with what the heart truly desires, its romance, its flirtation, but it also has to do with the passions that you have in every area of life. What is fun for you? What is it that you feel aligns with a more creatively fulfilling vision? This solar eclipse is going to allow you a beginning, but Mercury goes retrograde just a couple of days before this solar eclipse in the same part of the sky, which suggests an opportunity that may actually come back around. Or maybe there was something that you used to do that you were really passionate about, and now the opportunity to do it comes back around in some way. There is a sense of momentum that can grow here. This is a part of the sky that has to do with luck, catching a lucky break of all the signs out there. I do think that this solar eclipse will be the most fortunate for you. That Mercury retrograde says that perhaps the great fortune is one that represents an opportunity that you thought was gone and you wished you had taken, but for whatever reason it didn't pan out. 
Well, now here it is, it comes back around. This part of the sky is also connected to, as I said, creative endeavors. If you use your creativity to your advantage in any way, this can be very helpful. It is also connected to children you want or children that you have. Fertility will be high at this time and children may represent a part of that energy of new beginnings now. Now, where it comes to matters of love, I am looking at that solar eclipse, that very flirtatious heart-oriented energy now with Mars in your sign. Your passions are certainly high. And Mars is going to be in your sign right until the 28th of this month. So you have a connection now to passions, certainly, and an awakening of a desire to connect with others. If it is that you are open to meeting someone new, yes, Venus is retrograde most of the month. <laughs> it will go direct days after that solar eclipse. However, we have such flirty energy here. We have Mars in your sign as well. All of that, especially the days around the solar eclipse, do suggest that you may end up connecting with somebody, but more than that, reconnecting with somebody, and it feels like an awakening to you in some way. For those of you who are just starting to date someone, I do think that solar eclipse is going to represent a defining moment. By that point, Venus is essentially stationary, slowly preparing to go direct. Mars still in your sign, in a late degree in your sign. It may very well represent an increase of intimacy between the two of you. Now, the other possibility though, I have to say, you might end up meeting somebody else and that may feel like it moves very fast. For those of you who are in an established bond, I really love that energy around the solar eclipse. It is passionate, it is romantic, and it is very possible with a month like this that you are feeling that much more open to living life fully and engaging your partner that much more. What I love about this month for you, well look, in addition to all the things I've mentioned, we also have Jupiter and Pluto connecting in a friendship part of your sky at the end of the month. Now this is part of a larger transit that's ongoing. This is the second of three exact meetings that these planets are going to have over the course of this year. The last one was in April. And what this tells me is that your friendships now can be a source of power and a source of intensity. And in the midst of all this, there's you with Mars in your sign and the way in which Mars is being activated, is activating and participating in these huge astrological configurations, well, it tells me that all of this is designed to help you to take ownership for the change you wish to experience. And in this way, this month can be a true launching pad to the kind of life that you've always dreamed of. Well, thank you so much for watching. You can get a video like this every week by logging on to NadiaShaw.com. Sign up to be one of my superstars. Superstars get expanded exclusive video scopes each and every week, unlimited access to special horoscopes and more, all of this in the superstar space. I look forward to meeting you there. It'll be a great month. Enjoy.